Hello, my peeps. It is I, StrikeX19, coming to you with a strategy guide for solo gameplay on getting up to round 50 and above on the map Keynote or Totten in Call of Duty Black Ops. Okay, let's get started. Alright, as you can see, I started it on uh, level 52. Mainly just for fact, it will take way too many video parts to get all the way up to this level. That's the fact. Okay. Well, a problem with getting up in these vi these high levels with and just with the zombies basically getting up in these high levels. You know how long it takes you to kill one zombie with a machine gun? Watch, I'll show you. Still not dead. It's an upgraded M16 too. Still not dead. Still not dead. As you can see, that could be a major problem. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna kill this zombie. Yeah, it's in these high rounds. I. It'll take up like all your ammo from machine guns. Oh, look, he died. Okay. Now, because of that, you want to have have a thunder gun. Now, why? Because no matter what round it is, you wipe out the zombies, all of them. Get get the whole horde close to you. One shot, they're all dead. And uh, yeah, well, this strategy, it. I, some may call it a circle method. I like to call it a herding method. Mainly just doing circles around this stage area. It works best. Not that many chances that you can really be overthrown by zombies. To just be cornered, you know. For advanced players that you that you know you can dodge zombies and and you know about like basically you know how to juke them. You know how to be running back in the football. And uh, for for that, you can just, like, when you get rid of a herd, with, with, with get rid of a group of zombies with a thunder gun. You shoot one, and they all start coming back. If you feel confident enough, go ahead, try to juke them out. Just always go in this same little circle that I'm showing you. Just the same little circle. There's not many, not as many ways as in other places on the map for zombies to corner you. And, alright, next topic, talk about the perks that you would need. Two that you need the most, that you have to get, is Juggernaut and Quick Revive. Quick Revive, in single player, 500 points. But, you can only, if you, you can only use it three times as if you can see that it's gone right there. In the spot where she usually is. Basically, in single player, Quick Revive, it makes you get up again. And a Juggernaut, that one costs 2,500 2, points. And with that, you can take about, instead of two hits till getting down, you get about five. And uh, also the herding method, like at start of rounds, or like use teleporter. You know how you come back? Just, I'm pretty sure you saw this pattern that I've been going in. Yeah, just always take the long ways around and always go this way. I wouldn't recommend going any other way. You could if you want to, if you feel confident enough. Just this is like the simple way with most ways of escaping. And as you see, uh, well, first, a fact about the zom zombies, they come in groups. They're not like in old school where they, you know, come all at once. And also, before I finish that, that barrier will be your best friend especially in these later rounds when you have so many points you can just you don't really need to yeah just you have so many points you don't have to worry about them just that barrier use it to really take out a horde take out a group without having to waste any ammo the only bad thing that you won't get any points that's why the weapon set always <laughs> oh embarrassing Okay, with well, weapon set, always have the thunder guns, key weapon, and also monkeys. 
for like in the in these spots where you get down like that from quick revive use that and how many points you get you can just voila got juggernaut you just go to wait for the zombies while I'm in this area and then I'm gonna basically take them for another lap and get all the perks back it's really simple that's what the monkeys are there for just to save you when you get down and you don't have anything like uh, that I demonstrated and messed up for you and uh <laughs> alright mule kick you, you, you don't need to, basically all the other perks you don't really need as much as you do juggernaut and quick revive but mule kick it's helpful to have three guns you run out of ammo with two guns and the third gun yeah you got ammo for it just always have a thunder gun and before you upgrade that thunder gun be sure to use all the ammo just be sure that it's completely empty before you upgrade it also for no high mentioned before expert players in the beginning of hordes and rounds and stuff you do that herd system around the front with easier with like beginners you don't feel confident in doing that or get in a little tr trouble always have that teleporter linked you gotta always use that teleporter as escape routes and when you're up in the teleporter area don't shoot in, don't just don't shoot the zombies you don't want any zombies coming out out the windows and coming in front of you and blocking your path it's quite simple and also uh, speed cola it's helpful to reload fast double tap let me just tell everyone something it's not bad I know other people it's like oh I'm waste, wasting my bullets and stuff no what I say I say it's it's a lot easier it's a lot you kill zombies much quicker with double tap you shoot the zombies faster in them and it takes less time to kill the zombie I look at it that and uh yeah just the circle method that's all you really need to do the circle herding method yeah and when you know you have like the whole herd no one else coming out of windows you can just get them all close to you and blast them with the thunder gun one shot or you can get in this position and turn on the electric barrier easiest way to deal with it 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 gets really tiring in later rounds I don't know why someone would want to play all the way to get to these rounds of course you want to tell your friends hey man I got to round 53 that's my best how about you 20 haha <laughs> yeah basically it's all you basically need to know you just, the things that you need are a juggernaut quick revive the thunder gun the teleporter and monkeys and maybe the trap if you want to that, that's basically it and just gotta do circles. You can do circles around this area but there's a little bit more cut through ways of them getting to you. That's the only bad thing. And uh, also always keep an automatic on you in case you run low on points. Like the HK. Preferably upgraded for these later rounds so you can get somewhat kill a zombie you know. But mainly always have that gun that you can get upgraded ammo off the wall. I would recommend the M16 because when you upgrade it, it becomes fully automatic. It's kind of powerful. And the uh, also comes an M203 grenade launcher. Pretty simple. And uh, yeah, just in later rounds, just make sure it's upgraded. And yeah, watch. Gonna go upgrade it now. And we'll show you how the M16 does its magic. I showed you it in the beginning and all that good stuff. Yeah, don't recommend you shoot zombies when you're up there. Always let them gather up. And it just, it just, just trying to last in these rounds will take you a long time. Make sure your day's open. That's all I recommend. But yeah, Zeus cannon. I'll upgrade the thunder gun when it's only, when it's basically out of bullets completely. And with this strategy, with the thunder gun, you can last forever. You can last forever in just doing the strategy, the circle method, or herding method, whichever you want to call it. As long as you have ammo on your thunder gun, you're good. And plus, with the dog rounds that pop up every once in a while, just use a thunder gun, take out all the dogs, and voila, you just got another a ammo full to where you can go about another, I don't know, five to ten more rounds. And, uh, I think that about covers it, other than 
just yeah these the zombies are like ants that's that's they, they follow your trail they won't take many shortcuts unless you go in that direction to where they do take the shortcut and take every longest possible route and also in beginning rounds when you're trying to get to the spot always always take the one on the top right you can take the one on the bottom left I don't recommend it because there's more chances I'm going to get you and uh yeah I am strike x19 everyone don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see any more walkthroughs which I'll prob or basically strategy guides I'll make another video of me going through the beginning rounds and uh, I take it that will be the end of this video uh, just see you later my peeps and don't forget to subscribe and hope you hope this video is helpful